Hi everyone, my name is Nang, I'm an informal educator, and this is George's Telescope. It's the first book to explain the Big Bang to preschoolers. There are many origin stories about the universe, but the Big Bang is the only one supported by science. But science can be tricky and hard to explain, so when George Lemaitre and Edwin Hubble first proposed the Big Bang model, they probably didn't think that one day preschoolers would be learning their theory. But I know that they can, and that's what George's telescope is all about. If there's anything I've learned from being an informal educator, it's that kids love bubbles, they love potions, but also that they love stories, rhymes, and pictures. So by using a storyline, fun illustrations, and rhyming analogies, there's absolutely no reason why preschoolers cannot learn about the Big Bang Theory. The story follows a scientist, her name's Georgia, and she uses her telescope to find out that the universe is actually growing every day. And she realizes that, hey, the universe is growing just like children. This builds into the comparison that is the analogy for the book. That once upon a time we were all so, so small we didn't even exist. And the universe is not much different. It's probably this idea of nothingness that's actually the hardest one to internalize, even for adults like you and I. So by taking these two concepts, one that is very unfamiliar, the Big Bang that is, and pairing with one that is, there are plenty of kids and babies in the book, it enables preschoolers to understand the Big Bang Theory in terms of what they understand best, themselves. George Lemaitre is only one of the scientists Georgia is based upon. She does bear his name, but she also observes phenomena first discovered by scientists like Edwin Hubble, Vesto Slipher, Henrietta Swan Leavitt, Cecilia Payne, and I chose to make her a girl because it's important to inspire and empower young women scientists. For me, it wasn't until well into college that I learned about scientists like Cecilia Payne or Henrietta Swan Leavitt, astronomers who the Big Bang Theory would not be possible without. Everyone is born a natural scientist, and I want to make sure that children nowadays see many more examples of that than I did growing up. So in the back of the book, I've also included a list of astronomers, men and women, who have inspired and I hope can continue to inspire young scientists today. It really would mean a lot to me if you helped back this project. In return, you'll get the book, and you'll also be helping inspire young scientists wherever you are. Thank you.